questions at all during lecture. How I work is just ask questions. It does not bother me. If you're asking questions, it means you're listening to me. That's how I look at it. So if you have questions, please ask. Don't feel like you're interrupting anything at all. We'll go over the basics here for everybody on how to run an online course, how everything's laid out. So far, so good. We can person nod their heads. Yeah, okay. We have about half the class with us now. Okay. Like I said, every lecture I have is going to be recorded. So you can always, if you have to miss something, if something comes up, to realize life happens outside of school. You know, if you miss something, you can always go back and watch the lecture. Okay, and I'll show you where those are recorded. I'm going to switch the screen to show you the welcome screen now. So let me share this screen here. And usually I'll be doing this from my iPad, but let me do this from the desktop, my second screen. So what should come up now is the welcome screen to human anatomy. Everybody see that? You should, you should be on the, I lost my chat box too. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. There's my chat box. Okay, perfect. Okay. So this is what you get when you log on. This is your welcome screen. Everything's going to be done through this thing called modules. That's the entire class is laid out there. Okay. It's going to give you everything you need to get through. On the other side, you'll see uh, the Pearson where you can log into Pearson to get the access codes. And I'll show you how we're gonna use Pearson in just a little bit here too. Okay, uh, you can check your grades. I want you to double check your grades, make sure you're getting credit for everything. It's gonna appear on that in right after you take exams and everything else. Um, in fact, well, if I click on it, it'll show me different things. So y'all on a different site than you are. Discussion labs, conference Zoom, the syllabus, all that is all good. Okay, so if you click on modules, that's what's going to come up. That's restart the class. Okay. If you start with basic information, we'll just click on that and go through this here, go through each step by step. So you know what we're doing. This tells you here you're starting your class. Okay. It's a 16 week course. Uh, you have PowerPoints. There'll be videos in there. There'll be homework. There'll be quizzes. There'll be a research paper to write also. Here's multiple because a lot of people have problems taking exams so there's a lot of other ways to get points in this class okay but we'll go through the syllabus and i'll show you exactly how you're going to be graded what's expected of you to do now this is an online class so it's it's self-paced you can go along with me with the lectures which is perfect we can go lecture by lecture and keep everything going together you can work ahead or you can kind of lay back and just make a mad dash at the very end i don't recommend that part because it's kind of hard to do because there's a lot of information. Anatomy is a very fast paced course. Okay, don't follow behind. It's extremely fast paced. There's 28 chapters and there's a lot of information that's being thrown at you, all right? And then all you do is click here, you have a, a next button, click on next and it goes to the next screen. And here's some introduction, free to ask questions. Okay, this satisfies, satisfies the requirement for the registered nursing program at CMC and other colleges also for human anatomy. Tells you what it's about, what we're going to cover. We're going to cover um, organization, uh, organization, structural organization of the human body, gross microscopic structure, the integumentary, skeletal, muscular, nervous, uh, sensory, endocrine, cardiovascular, lymphatic, respiratory, digestive, excretory, and reproductive systems. From cell to organ system levels of organization. So you go from the cell, beginning basis, the building block of the human of uh, organism, up until the entire organism. Cover how everything interacts. The textbook for the class is Human Anatomy by Martini, the ninth edition, I believe. That's the one that's out. Do we use a textbook? Yes, the lecture is going to fall from the textbook. Every one of those things in the modules is the chapter, and I'm going to go in order. We're not going to jump around. Now, those, we may vary on the syllabus a little bit, depending on how the class does as far as time-wise go. Okay, in other words, you may, we may do chapters one and two and three, maybe chapters one and then do a two and three next time, but we'll all follow in order just along through the syllabus, and it'll keep pretty accurate. Uh, class will take about four to seven hours of studying per week, depending on how you comprehend. Uh, does it mean through credit for now? Uh, RM program, yes. Uh, labs are done online now. They're not done on campus. So you can do those at your own pace. Okay, the labs are all done through Pearson. And we do those together. Okay, you can listen to recordings on those. And there'll be a lab practicum at the end of the semester. I think it's worth 100 points. 
there's no extra credit for this class because there's multiple ways of obtaining points for the grades in this class. And with the, with, mo with these modules, you can click the next or previous button, go back and forth. Course objectives, what you should be able to do, describe key teachers of, of human cells and major tissue types, identify an uh, anatomy of the system of the human body, relate structures and function at the cellular level through system levels of organization, which we're gonna go through and how, how the body is organized, and describe structural anatomical changes that occur in disease, injury, or aging in the human body system. Okay, this is my contact information. Do not be afraid to contact me. I will always respond to emails. If I don't, it means I didn't get it. Okay, I always check my emails multiple times at my office and I'm always available. That's my email is the C, uh, for eskadult at cmccd.edu. The school phone, if you really want to use that, you can, that goes to a voice message. I don't have an office at the school. I'm part-time, so I don't get one. So I wouldn't recommend using the school one. You can, it might get to me, it might not. <laughs> Uh, my office phone there, my dental office, my receptionist will always know where I'm at. Okay, you can always even call my call my dental office. They'll be able to tell you where I'm at or leave a message for me and they'll make sure I get it. Okay, so you can call my office. And if you have to text me, there's my cell phone there also. You can text me, leave me a message. So don't be afraid to try to get hold of me. I don't mind questions. I enjoy interactions. Um, the Zoom meetings are set Monday and Wednesdays. But I don't mind getting on on a Friday or something or a, a weekend when I'm around and answering questions. If you want to get a group together, I have no problem with that. Just let me know and I can make myself available. Okay. If you need, if you need face to face contact with questions, if you do better that way, you can always come down to my dental office and I'll meet with you face to face or we can set up a meeting time. I don't mind that either. But the school has real strict policies about meeting at the school as a group. Okay. Someone's got to mute. I'll mute you. There we go. All right. I'll monitor all the discussion. There's a discussion board also. You can ask discussions on and ask questions. But you can always, always, always email me. That's usually the best way to get hold of me because I keep weird hours. Sometimes I'm up at two or three in the morning and I'll answer emails. All right. This is the discussion board. Okay. You can ask discussions here. It's like where you're raising your hand. Okay. Uh, someone already asked one about the, the, the how we do work the syllabus. I answered it. Okay, so you can always leave always leave questions on the discussion board too as another way to get hold of me. However you're comfortable. There's multiple ways to do this to make sure you're comfortable. Okay, it's it's just what's best for you guys, and I'll respond to any of them. Okay, the syllabus. The syllabus is the guide for our class. Let me click it up here. Just click on the syllabus PDF, and the PDF will load. Now, can everybody see the syllabus? Yeah, okay, perfect, good. All right, so this is spring 2021. Again, this is gonna go over your course description. Okay, these are your student learning objectives. This tells you the course is gonna run from February 1st to May 26th. May 26th is the last day of class. Okay, after the 26th, you cannot submit any exams, any quizzes, research paper, anything like that. Everything has to be by the 26th. The grades will be turned in by then, right? So after the 26th, everything closes. There's very few things have deadlines. Most things are open up for the rest of the class so you can work at your own pace. I think some of the home, the two homework assignments and the research paper has a deadline so I have time to grade it. Okay, but it'll be in, the, it'll be right on the syllabus. We'll go through that. Class, like I said, is Monday, 6 to 9, 9.05, Mondays and Wednesdays. And it's the same link and password which I gave you for Monday and Wednesday. Use that the whole semester. I've got that set up already. Um, the only time I won't be available is Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm teaching Chem 5. I'll be online from 6 to 9 there during uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Other than that, I can make other, other Zoom meetings. You can always jump in, no problem. Uh, I can do office hours. I'll be around Thursday mornings for a Zoom conference meeting, but I can do it. That's anytime. I can do it Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, anytime you guys want. I can hop on to a Zoom if you have questions. Again, there's a textbook, the access card you're going to need through Pearson. Okay, to access Pearson, on the left side, there was that Pearson link. Click on that, follow the direction, contain the access card. Access card is going to be for two things it's going to provide all our labs, which we're going to go through together, and it's going to provide the assignments. There's going to be 28 assignments. I think each is worth 20, 20 points. 
Okay, and Canvas. On Canvas, make sure you always check for announcements when it's on post and check your grades. Make sure it's all done right. Attendance is as you want to do it Monday and Wednesdays. Okay, I, I don't take rule. It's an online class, so we're good. Uh, regular drop policies, uh, makeup exams. Uh, there'll be a midterm and a final. They'll be given on a certain day. I'll open it up for the whole day. So all you get, you take it during that day, anytime this community for you. If something happens, you have an emergency, if you're active duty and you get called to do something happens, let me know and I'll work around it. But I'm give you that one day to do for the final and the midterm. Uh, lab safety doesn't really count because you're going to be online with it. Uh, code of conduct, like I said, if you're online and if there's background noise, keep yourself muted. That way everybody else doesn't hear everything going off, going on in the background of your house. Okay. If you, if you want to call your room, you want to just talk, you can leave it open and we can talk with an open mic. Like I said, I do not mind questions at all. Uh, electronic media, that's your discretion. See email policy. Let, when you're emailing me, make sure it says bio 022 or anatomy, because I don't know if it's chemistry or anatomy, it's being emailed to me. And then I have to go back and look it up on my schedule, who's in what class. So just make sure it says 022 or just anatomy. If it says that in a subject line somewhere, they don't know which class we're talking about. Okay, I'll let you just allow 24 hours. I usually run within 24 hours. Students with the disabilities, let me know. Through access, you might get longer times for exams. Take extra things, things like that. Just let me know. It's not a problem. Just give me a, send me a, a, a copy of the form. And you'll have to give me copies that I have to sign, and I can send them back to the access uh, coordinator. Uh, equal to me is activity. Don't cheat. That's fairly obvious. And there's different examples of cheating called plagiarism, using unauthorized materials, removing examples of government approval, things like that. Uh, this is our tentative. This is our, our syllabus here, our schedule. This lays out what we're going to be covering. Okay, we're going to follow this fairly closely. And like I said, we might get behind, we might get ahead as you work. It depends on the, how the class is doing. And I'll go through it. I, my main goal is not to just throw information at you. My main goal is to teach you anatomy. So when you go on to physiology or you go into your nursing, your end class exams, you'll know this stuff. Okay. A lot of my questions from my, on my midterm and things like that come from old end class exams. Okay. I've said on a lot of boards for RN programs and for dental hygiene programs. Okay. So I pick all those questions that we do and I put them on there. So you'll have some experience with those that so you see them. So chapters one and two today, we probably won't get through all two chapter two. So we'll probably do two and three on Wednesday. And then this the, on next Monday, we'll do lab number one in histology. Okay. And then lab chapter four, then the holiday is February 15th already. Then chapters five, six, seven, and so on. And that's basically how we're going to lines everything up. It tells you what day the midterm is on April 5th. The midterm is used, I think it's chapters one through 16. On April 12th, this PDF format sent it to me. Okay, I'll go through exactly what I want for that. The last days of class, the 24th and 26th. The 24th is your lab practicum, which is 100 points. You're going to see 25 slides and you identify what it's pointing to, of what we've covered on the labs. And the final exam is on May 26th, the end of class. Okay, how the grading is done. You know, grading is done, 90 or 100 is an A, 88, 90 is a B, and so on. Now, that being said, I do grade on a curve. Okay, the curve will never hurt you. In other words, if you have an 89 in the class, that very well could be an A. Because I'm going to curve it to the average student. Okay, so you can get an 85, 86, and still get an A in the class. If you get above a 90 in the class, no matter what the curve is, you will get an A. The curve will never go below that. You know, it'll never drop it, make it higher. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. Okay, perfect. Good. Okay. So it's just it's gonna be on a curve, what everybody does, but that's the basics for the grading right there. And here's how it breaks down. You're gonna have 28 chapter assignments in Pearson. Each one of those assignments is worth 20 points. They give you a total of 560 points. Those are your lab assignments in Pearson. Okay, you do those well, one for every chapter. Those are already set up, ready to go. And they'll be open as of tonight. And you can do them at whenever you want. You can do them all. You can sit down all night, I step all night and do all of them. Okay? Or you can do them as we go along. Keep pace with my lectures. We understand what we're doing. 
Okay, whatever works best for you. Okay, or you can wait till the end. Okay, and procrastinate. I do that a lot, but it's not really advisable in this class. <laughs> okay, so there's 28 assignments in Pearson. You can do those. Those. There's a quiz after every chapter. After every chapter, there'll be a quiz on those modules. It's a five-point quiz. You got an hour to do it. And plenty of time. Okay, those are worth five points. 140 points. The midterm's 150. Final exam is 250. Research paper is 50 points. Lab practicum is 100 points. There's your breakdown. Like I said, the only thing that has a due date are going to be your midterm and your final, which I'm giving you, you just going to pick. I think I'll give you three hours for the midterm and three and a, or two and a half. I think it's either two and a half or three hours for the midterm and three or three and a half for the final. And it's open from, from midnight until midnight that day. But once you log on, that's it. You got to take it that three hour block. And you, you set that up, you set what's convenient for you. You have that time frame. Okay, and this breaks down what each one is. This is your chapter assignments from Pearson. Okay, your chapter quizzes are five point each, midterm, final, lab practicum. Okay, they're multiple choice, fill in the blank, true, false on Canvas. The research paper. Research paper is one to three, and it's, this is our here to refer back to, okay? It's, it's three to five pages in length, okay? It has to be above a 12-point font. My eyes do not focus below a 12-point font. So don't write with real teeny font, all right? Because I won't be able to read it without getting my glasses on, okay? Just make sure it's about 12-point font. I don't care the format. You're going to pick a topic, and you're going to email it to me. I'll approve it. It's going to be on a disease or a condition of the human body. And basically, I want to learn something. I want you to pick a disease where you're going to tell me something so I can learn something. One of the best ones done, 50 points across the board was a student two semesters ago. He did one on video game violence and how that transmits into society, whether that actually promotes violence in society. And he did a great job with it. It was phenomenal. You know, I want, I want, three, to, I want three, a minimum of three references. Okay, and references can be the textbook. Reference can be two others online. Just give me three references, and I want it written so that I will learn something. Okay. Uh, late assignments is only apply to the research paper usually. Uh, grade appeals are through Cotton Mountain College. Uh, notification retrieval of work. Everything's being posted on Canvas, so you need to follow Canvas. Make sure your grades are accurate and correct. The study habits. Do not fall behind. In this class, don't fall behind. It's going to be really hard to catch up because I may do three let three chapters in one one shot, one lecture. So don't fall behind them. It's it's just keep up with me or or keep ahead. It's best if you read. Okay, next one is read each chapter prior to class. If you read what I'm going to talk about, you'll have a better understanding of what I'm saying. Okay, it'll make it easier for you to follow. Ask questions. You're asking, let me check my chat there. There's a pattern, one of Monday labs and Wednesday chapters. Yeah, uh, for Juliana on the, the chat. Yeah, most of our Mondays are labs. Most of our Wednesdays are lectures. Now, it may vary if I have to catch up on something. It's not set in stone, but that's our usual, our typical pattern. Uh, I'll have to check. I know the quizzes are one time, the five point ones. The assignments, I will double check that for you. I put a little note to check on the assignments. If we can read, if I have one on one assignments. I know I did in chemistry, I'm not sure about this assignments. Yeah, let me check on that. Here's, I will check on that and put a note on that. That's a good question. All right. Um, definitely ask questions, take notes. If what do you want to do? Review the lectures if you want to. Everything's being recorded. Study with people. You may do it on Zoom. That's fine. Office hours. Always ask me questions. Always email me. Study 12 to 14 hours free outside of class and seek additional help. On the modules, you see that there is additional help on that. Okay, so there's your syllabus on our modules. All right. Any questions on the syllabus? No questions? All no, right. sir. All right, perfect. And then next, what do I have next? 
Here's your additional resources and textbooks, excellent resources. You have online videos, YouTube can do certain things. I'll have online videos on your, um, on your canvas, on your modules, and I'll show you those for extra help with things. Because sometimes it helps having someone else explain things. Technical support, this is just what you're required, what is required to activate Canvas. Most people have this with no problem. You can use your cell phones to get onto Zoom and things like that also. If you have problems with Canvas, we have a great resource at CMC, Lisa Larson. She is phenomenal. She's an extremely intelligent woman. If you have questions that I can't handle or you have questions that you need to go with her, her number's right there, her work phone's right there. You can email her. She will get you settled on it. She knows, she knows Canvas and how the CMC works through it really, really well. Okay, so here's how our chapters are organized. Every chapter, let me go back to modules. So if you go to modules, you'll see here's your start information we just went through. Chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, et cetera. They're all set up the same. Okay, everything's gonna be set up the same. Chapter one, so this is our foundations of anatomy. So click on chapter one and it brings up the chapter, it brings up your heading. And this tells you the key concepts of every everything in the chapter. If you click next, you will go to the PowerPoint. Every, one, every chapter has a PowerPoint. I've done a PowerPoint for every chapter. My lectures, the midterm, the final, the quizzes are all going to come from the PowerPoint. They're gonna come right from it. Study the PowerPoints, know the PowerPoints. That's why I put them together. I'm gonna to lecture directly from the PowerPoints and they're from, right from the chapter, right from the textbook. They're gonna follow the textbook, okay? If you wanna download it, you click here, chapter one, and these are PowerPoint formats. So you can go through it just like I do with the slides and everything else. So click on this, it'll download the PowerPoint and you'll have it. You can print it out. If you go to the library at CMC, which I think is still open certain hours, made by appointment now. But if you if you click on it, they'll print it out for you and they'll, they'll print it out through their printers for if you want. So you can go through like notes with my lectures as I go through the lecture. So you can print each one in advance. So here's your PowerPoint. After we go through the PowerPoints, okay? The next one is chapter one videos. Every chapter, every has videos. And these are YouTube videos. These are things that I've picked out that are pertinent that are gonna help you. Like I said, it's someone else's voice explaining to you. Sometimes I can explain it and explain it. And when someone else says, you go, oh, I get that. So you just click on, the, you click on these here and it'll go over the different systems. Okay, this is a video introduction to anatomy in common terms. So if you click on the link, it pops up in human anatomy and physiology and you click on it. I'd like you to take a second and really look at yourself. I don't mean okay. to take stock of your life, which really isn't any. Okay, but every one of these will click on it and have someone else do something a little bit different, the different organ systems and things like that. All right, and then next you can click on and I've, some of the clever, I put in little things to help you with. These are like my notes that I use when I put together my exam and stuff like that. These are the notes I put together, okay? This is 11 organ systems in the human body, okay? It goes through the different organ systems. It just basically outlines the 11 different systems that we're gonna talk about, okay? I put a couple of these in the in different areas and then you click next. And then every chapter has review questions. These are on the back of the text of each chapter, okay? I have all the answers, even the even and the odd ones prepared for you. So go through these questions. These are really good questions to help with studying for your midterm and your final, okay? That's the reason I went through these questions. These questions are one through 13 on level one and one through six on level two, okay? It's on the back of your chapters in your textbook, okay? Once you've done it, you click on next and these are the answers the odd and the even ones, okay? That way, once you've done it, you can check everything, all your work. And if you still can't figure it out, email me, call me, text me, okay? And we'll go through it. I wanna make sure you understand all these questions, okay? So those are all the answers to all the questions that you have. And they'll get a lot more as we go on the different chapters, okay? And then you click next. And then here's the quiz, okay? You click on... Uh, for me, it's preview it. For you, it might be something, it's something different. This is the, the teaching mode of it. But it's a five-point quiz. You have an hour to do it. Open book, open notes. Fairly simple to do. And that's at the end of every chapter, we'll have a five-point quiz. I think you only have one chance to do that one. 
Okay, and that's that's it. That's each section. Okay, so again, everything works on modules. You click on modules, and this is your starting point. If you have a question, go back to the syllabus or anything else. You can always click here. Okay, here's all your chapters all laid out for you, all the way through 28. Okay, everything's all set in exact same format. Okay, you get your PowerPoint. You get your videos that we put together for the class, your questions, your review questions, and then your quiz. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, that's how the class is going to work. 